Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of the official ARC podcast number 240. My name's Coach Mistletoe, and I'm here live with the core team. Your host for tonight, as always, the one and only Mr. Atlas. Please take it away, sir. Hello. Thank you, Mistletoe, for the introduction. And folks, welcome back to the official ARC podcast. This is Wednesday, June 28th, hump day. We're happy to see and have every single one of you over here. It is a fantastic time really here on the ARC. This is a huge week. We're going to bring Brett Nordine to give us the updates of what's cooking in the back. And boy, is there a lot happening. Let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look over at the stats that we have here for today. Total vault accounts, 5492. Liquidity, 170,818 BUSD. That's over on PancakeSwap. ILC reserves, 148,644 BUSD. The price of ARC at a quarter of a dollar, 0.75 cents. Spark price pool, 713.83 ARC. And today we'll find our 248th Spark Prize winner on the 240th consecutive podcast uh yeah we're obviously seeing uh quite a a, a, a disproportionate uh allocation here when it comes to our sales and buys let me take a quick look at the volume uh for today we've been experiencing it uh, for for quite some time now and uh the ilc obviously is is looking at the liabilities and understanding that it cannot keep holding the price at that beautiful stable price of a dollar. I, I was very, very happy with that. But uh, it, it really comes down to folks having the understanding of the long-term objective of the project. The utilities are almost here. We're going to hear more about them in just a couple of, of minutes. And uh, the price is going to have to fluctuate and find its floor. We experienced that in our, in our uh, drop from uh, the 571. Uh, we have 5,492 ARC all to count. That's zero new accounts since yesterday. So we understand as we go to do our AMAs, as we bring in new investors through our products, the Air Card, the Terra Card, uh, our on ramp. Uh, we got some good updates for you guys today. I can tell you the team is calm, cool, collected, understanding that we have a roadmap. We know what we're here to build. We're doing what no team has been able to do in this space. And we're doing, I think, in a very graceful manner, in a very fast but efficient manner that's bringing quality products, not just slapping things on and saying, hey, guys, this is it. Go for it. That's not how we work here. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Brett Nordine so we can hear from him. It's been a very busy day. I know he's been busy. We've been busy over here. Mr. Green arriving today from Switzerland to the ARC HQ. A lot of stuff happening. Yeah. <laughs> looking forward to looking forward to getting in the sausage room again tomorrow with Mr. Green. It's always fun. We're going to be working on the arc light, so that'll be a good time for sure. But in the meantime, we've been uh, busting busting butt over here. Alex has been hard at work. Uh, we did get some response back. I'll, I'll just start with the on ramp. Uh, we did get some response back from the bank. Uh, they did find a couple issues during their testing on their end, but uh, they hope to have them resolved by tomorrow. So we are very close to having the on-ramp finished. That one is ready and buttoned up uh, to go. The air card, uh, we have just some small decisions to make on the back end. Um, Alex is making some enhancements. Um, I can say that what he's done in the last 24 hours is uh, a step above uh, where we were when he, when he returned. Um, so if you've been experiencing the air card, if you've gotten a chance to issue one, uh, as part of the secret DAO, uh, it's getting even better. Um, and some of those are, uh, you know, when there's when there's potential problems or someone uh, wants to recover the card, he's put together some handling that um, is exceptional and, and it's going to work very well. Um, he's also put in place the uh, a, the potential for a referral system. So um, a lot of these card programs don't have that in place, and we've talked about doing it. He found an elegant way of doing it. Uh, we'll announce some more about that later. We don't have the percentages or what the earnings might be, but yeah. <laughs> 
And this is also something we can apply to the on-ramp as well. So um, both of the air card and the Terra card will have the opportunity for referral rewards, uh, which there aren't a lot, a lot of other card systems out there providing that uh, incentive to influencers and people to market and promote those products for off-ramping or even on-ramping. Um, so that's a, a big step forward and something, you know, Alex has engineered on his own. It's nothing that, you know, we were part of the idea originally, the concept, but we had a much more, uh, I would say, um, uh, advanced way of doing it, but it would have taken a lot longer. And so he shortcutted that and made it a much uh, easier, simpler uh, implementation of a referral reward program for the on and off ramp. So looking forward to seeing that in action and making some decisions uh, probably tomorrow once Mr. Green is uh, strapped to a chair there in, in Spain and we're able to walk through that uh, together. together. And uh, let's see what else. We, we've got some, um, we're really pushing hard to get the, uh, the cards, uh, the metal cards we talked about. Um, we're gonna probably have three different levels is what we've agreed upon. Um, we'll have a standard plastic card. We'll have a standard black metal card. And then we'll have a, uh, a gold card. I'll just call it that for our NFT holders that will be available. So you'll be able to upgrade from a plastic card to a metal card. Um, and uh, we've got a supplier in place to be able to uh, pack and ship those for us. So we have a very streamlined backend process going. Uh, one that can scale and, and one that uh, we can use to, you know, uh, meet the demand we think we're going to have uh, for these cards if we go out into the market. Um, Alex, again, working his magic in the back end on those, and uh, that'll be the next thing that we launch uh, in the series of on and off ramp products that we're making available. Um, also working hard now on the DVPN. Um, we have the infrastructure provider lined up. We're part of their fast track program, and we're really going to push uh, both the DVPN and the cloud storage solution. Um, those are going to be our next two big products on the privacy side of things. So utilities are coming. Um, we know that there's going to be some FUD with the price reduction, um, but you know the ILC has got to do what it's got to do. It's now holding, you know, above 100k, and as those um, liabilities increase, but the price reduces the ILC may be able to find a floor again and kick back in to stabilize the price, but we'll see how things turn out. Um, we're not concerned. I'm not concerned personally. I think that uh, this is a healthy correction again, and uh, we'll see plenty of action uh, coming back to the protocol. I think with Arc Light, I think with the Zoom presentations, uh, with the utilities and the, uh, the story that we're going to tell that's much different than other ROI dApps, uh, I think we'll get some returned interest. So, yeah, stay tuned, and uh, thanks to everyone for your patience on the on and off ramps. We, you know, obviously we've run into some delays from the banking side, and with Alex being gone for a week, we lost a little bit of time on the dev side. So uh, we're making up for it quickly, and I think we're going to be really happy with what we end up with here, and we can share within the next 24 or 48 hours the on ramp as well as the off ramp. It looks like we're going to probably release the air card to the DAO again, but let that open up not just to a select group, but a much larger audience. And then we'll probably go live uh, 24 to 48 hours after that. That's about it for me. Uh, Atlas, do you have anything else you want me to cover? No, I just wanted to, uh, to add my, my two cents. I really believe and understand clearly that having the referrals built into these products is absolutely the way to go. If we want to have our products with the YouTubers, with the big influencers, uh, these folks are generally lazy. They don't want to learn about things. They just want to make money and they want it to be easy. Hey, click the link below. You're going to save X amount by using my link. This is a fantastic product. I've used it. Have a nice freaking day. I mean, that's what they're going to do. And when these guys have a couple hundred thousand, a couple million users, they understand that they're getting paid per transaction, and that's going to build up. That's part of what we're going to be working on the contract uh, tomorrow here with, with, you know, Mr. Green. And I think that's a game changer. That's the way that you have to push these things. And uh, the solutions are 
are, you know, going to be coming to us, you know, really, really fast. So I uh, like that very much. I think it's very important because not only do we have fantastic products, but the folks that get involved in the promotion of them are having that instant payout. And that's going to motivate. And that's something too that uh, we can share a little alpha here that with the arc light, uh, we're looking at also making it so easy for the average Joe, the person that is not going to read a white paper. They're not going to want to understand what a <clears throat> positive NDV or CWR. I mean, things that, that we as, as DGENs, we can call ourselves, right? Passionate DeFi investors who like complex system, understanding how many, you know, contracts uh, are, are part of the whole ecosystem of ARC. I mean, that's, that's something we love and, and uh, we've, we've been great at educating. We have coaches here. I mean, what projects has full-time paid coaches? I mean, some of the stuff we've done here, I, th I think is, is amazing. I'm personally very proud of this team, very proud of this community, very proud of the staff that uh, has really pushed the educational side. But if we want that mass growth, that explosive growth, we need to understand that the influencers always think, what's in it for me? What do I get out of it? And we've played that game. We've gone to do the AMAs. Uh, the the ARC has its own built-in system also of the referral and rewards. And, and that's been a big push. And that's been a great part of the teams we've seen grow here and the success that we've we've been able to witness from so many of those early investors and, you know, folks that came in and they had a lot of patience and uh, they had fantastic success. So, you know, bringing that product that is so entry level that a five or three year old could understand it. <laughs> you put money in, you get paid out. Um, you know, having also that component of referrals that are instant payments coming out is also the direction that we want to move in. So literally, any person that's out there that's not having a job that wants to get involved in, and they don't even have to explain much of, Hey, this is how much you put in. This is how much you get out. This is how long it takes. And I mean, I don't think we even need to probably even have a white paper, how simple it's going to be so easy to come in and uh, be a part of that. And then if they have an experience and we all know, cause we all started somewhere one day along our path in the past coming into the DeFi and passive income space. Once you, once you get that adrenaline rush of seeing your deposit grow and, you know, taking money, putting it in your pocket, feeding the family, making the right decisions. Then the next step is of course, I think logically, how do I get more? How do I get more involved? How do I earn more for my investments? Oh, wait, I, I hear that the, the main arc ecosystem uh, they have these NFTs. They've got this foundation. Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to go and find out. I'm going to set up a meeting with coach Brad, coach Mistletoe, one of these great team leaders. Maybe if they speak in Spanish, they'll, they'll want to, you know, have a meeting with Raphael, who's, who's a fantastic educator. The man's amazing. He's helped so many here of the Spanish community and also the English speaking investors. You know, they could, they could read a lot of these you know, medium articles, they could look at a lot of the content that's been created here and they're going to have an opportunity to get into higher yield. So, you know, the show must go on. It will continue. Uh, price will dictate, time will dictate, but we're very certain. We're very focused. We're very calm. We understand the bigger picture. We're doing what hasn't been done here. And there's going to be folks that are going to come in through that funnel they're going to see the bigger picture. They're going to want to get involved in legacy NFT. They're going to want to go into the foundation or the LSA and the vault to earn a higher uh, interest. And the key to the massive growth to getting those numbers through the research, what we've been working on here so much and having real utility, I think is going to be absolutely amazing folks. What's here before us. So for the folks at, um, I think are, are panicking again, looking at price. I, I think they have a very short-term vision and uh, we've always said it is a long-term play. Um, what we're earning here uh, is, is, is something that you can't compare to sitting there and, and hodling on a, a lot of other stuff that's out there or some of the stuff that you just get into and they just scam you, you know, the, the, the rug, 
they're gone. Um, but I think there's a clear defined difference. There's a line in the sand uh, that's been drawn here. Podcast number 240. And uh, I mean, it still feels, Brett, like, like we're just getting started <laughs> because okay. there's always Absolutely. something new. There's always something bigger. And I, I don't know, maybe it's because we're doing this every day. We're in the back, we're having the meetings, we're signing contracts. I mean, to the level of be, being able to sit down at the table and do business, you know, using an FCA European exchange license, you know, through the relationships we have, uh, we've, we've gone through levels that others folks just don't have the opportunity. And we've been able to, you know, even just that we saved around $500,000. I mean, nobody's going to come and say, yeah, use my license. Let's work together. Let's partner up. It's, it's been nothing short of amazing what we've been able to accomplish. And I think that's where a lot of it comes or maybe the community who doesn't spend the time here, who are not part of these 39, 40 people that are very tuned in, keeping track, listening to every word, dissecting every little part and seeing clearly the picture. I would guess that maybe even not 80% or 90 have even looked at the roadmap. And, and I think that's part of the issue where where we stand, when we look at this price, when we look at, you know, folks panic selling, you know, weeks ago, and then uh, moving on to the next thing. And we wish them the best. We understand that if we were just dependent on those folks, uh, we would be no better than any other project that they've invested with or, or went out before us. But none of them are moving forward with utility, creating businesses and, and understanding what it takes to stay in this game for a very long time and to really bring returns on a long-term scale to your investors. I, you know, we've called it a shakeout before. So um, look, we keep moving, we keep building, we stay focused. And uh, I could tell you for me personally, no shame in my game. I, I really honestly have no empathy for anyone that is going around, you know, flopping and groping. They shouldn't have come into the project in the first place. If you can't invest long-term, do not get involved in long-term investments. It's very simple. If you have a vision and you want to invest in teams, the professionals that we have here, the caliber, I've seen it nowhere else in the space. It is what it is. And I know what we can deliver and what we have here in stores is, is just amazing. So, uh, you know, mad love for, for, for everyone, happy, not happy. Hey, keep looking forward. Uh, we will not be slowed down. We will not be deterred. And uh, I think that we're moving in faith and integrity. We haven't changed the rules of the game. We're not tying people hostage. We're not going to betray our community. We're going to continue to move in the right direction, following what we've, we've put together from the first day and delivering every day on a roadmap. That's what it's about. Let's get the script to folks. All right, Mr. Mistletoe, do we have a wheel to spin today? <laughs> without, oh, the sound yeah. <laughs> without the sound effects, yes. <laughs> well, I, have some. I have I have the other part. I, I have the music that we play when you when you break it down. Oh but yeah, there we go. Shorts? You want to talk about the short term? Of course, of course. So uh, for every, everyone that doesn't know, we have announced a new shorts contest. Uh, it's it's a, basically a contest for anyone to get involved. You don't need to be a big content creator. You don't even have to have a channel. You could start fresh and, and enter. It's it's very easy to get involved. Anyone is able to enter. All you need to do is create a short form content video. It can be a YouTube short, can be a TikTok or an Instagram reel. So it's very easy to get involved. Really, all what we ask is kind of just pick a theme from the uh, pick a topic from the roadmap. If you want to cover the vault, you want to cover Arc G or the, the air card or even ArcNet. Just pick a topic off the roadmap. Or even if you just want to talk about your experience with Arc, there's a lot of things you can make a video on. It's very easy. It needs to be under 60 seconds. And even if you want to try to get it all condensed into even 10 or 20 seconds, you don't have to go the full 60 seconds. So yeah, we're going to have a basically a uh, kind of a, a vote off for the best short of the day. The other day we had a four-way vote it was between Jashan, the uh 
Coin Builders TV and the Drip Guide, Brandon the Drip Guide, and Brandon took home the winner of best short of the day, winning 50 arc. So how it's going to work is every time we get three shorts submitted into the sweep widget, then we're going to do a draw from the community. It's basically going to be a 24-hour poll where the community is going to be able to watch all the shorts and vote on their favorite one. And the person that gets the most votes is going to win 50 arc. As well as we're also going to do weekly draws. So for short of best short of the week, they're going to earn 100 arc for the person that wins best short of the week. As well as uh, over in, in about four weeks from now, three weeks, we're going to do best short of the month. Now, how that's going to work is all the best shorts, all the best shorts of the week, the winners for the best short of the week are going to go for a head to head to head to head vote for best short of the month. And that winner is going to win 500 arc. We're also going to give away an extra 500 arc for the person that has the most views on any of their shorts throughout the whole month. And not only that, but anyone that just enters a short, even if you don't win, you know, short, best short of the day, best short of the week, short of the month, most views, anything like that, you're also going to be entered into a wheel just like this for every single video you submit. And you can submit as many as you want. If you want to go crazy and, you know, make five shorts a day, by all means, it's, it's all up to you. It's the more shorts you enter, the better chance you have at winning. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of the short contest we have going on. We do need one more short just to enter for tomorrow's draw for best short of the day. And I'm sure we can get that. So yeah, if you've been thinking, maybe you've, you have some ideas, maybe you have some in the drafts, do definitely post them and submit to them to Sweet Budget. If you can't find the Sweet Budget link, you can also just send me a DM with your short. So yeah, it's very easy to get involved. And um, yeah, let's move over to the, uh, does anyone have any questions about the short contest? No? All right, perfect. Let's move over to the all aboard giveaway then. Uh, we do this giveaway. <laughs> we do this every, the giveaway every single day. It's a giveaway to push the algorithm for all the videos about ARC. A lot of the theme right now is uh, going and liking and commenting on the uh, past podcast, pushing the algorithm for that. So thank you, everyone that gets involved. If you're new here and you don't know what's going on, this is our daily all aboard giveaway. It's very easy to get involved. Every single day after the podcast, we do post a new sweep widget link. It's pinned in the main chat. It's pinned in the contest and giveaway topic, as well as the announcements channel. So it's very easy to find. If you ever can't find it, just ask and we'll always reshare it for you. Uh, it's very easy to get involved. All you need to do is click on to that new sweep widget link. Once you find it, it's gonna redirect you to a new website going to uh, give you a task list ranging from liking and commenting some videos, uh, clapping up some medium articles, retweeting some Twitter links, or even just visiting a website. So it's very easy to get involved. Once you go through and do all of those tasks, your name is going to pop up on this lovely wheel right here, as you can see. And every single day live on the podcast, we are going to spin it for your chance to win 50 arc. That's right. If we land on your lucky name right there, you will be our lucky winner today of 50 arc so do be sure to get involved everybody we do this every day and like i said it really does help push the algorithm for all the content creators here on board the arc and if you do want to make some content we can try to uh, present it here on the podcast with the all aboard session so yeah without further ado let's spin that wheel good luck everyone and thank you everyone that participates we don't have the wheel today, but we'll do the air horn. I, I don't. I don't know how they. I don't know how. It, what is going on with these guys, man? All right. <laughs> again, the Coin Builders TV again. Noah <laughs> underscore ph. You guys just keep on winning. It is insane. I know there's like six or seven of you guys. They actually did reach out to me yesterday, and they they sent me a message in there, uh, a screenshot from uh, their their syndicate channel just showing how much they promote the sweep widget and encourage everyone to join every single day. So it does go a long way, guys. If, if you know, they do win a lot, but there's, there's a lot of them and they do participate every single day. They're really bullish on ARC and they love the community. So it pays to enter. Yeah, and they stay up with the, with the podcast. They're always going over information uh, that's shared here. Oh, yeah. 
They're very involved. Great to see them. All right. Well, I think it's time we go ahead and set up the Spark. Let's see what's happening with Spark, folks. All right. Let's get the screen on for Sparky. Who's it going to be tonight? This has been the week of the live winners. Great time. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing yesterday. Happy days. Very, very happy days. And we got 730.60 ARC. That's a value of 546.58 USD. <laughs> Exciting. All right, and we're going to have 10% of that pot is going to go to today's MVP. Congratulations, MVP. You have already been selected. It's just a matter of finding now who the Spark winner is going to be for today. If anyone has their legacy NFT, they are in LSA with at least 250 BUSD in the LSA, then they have a guaranteed spot every single day today, tomorrow, next week, next month, for always. Regardless of what's happening with the prize of ARC, if you're in the foundation, you need to have $250 worth of bond in the foundation. And uh, as the price is shifting, it's going lower. We're seeing a lot of folks having to add more to their foundation. But the returns have been fantastic. Past couple of weeks, we've been hearing a lot of folks that stayed in foundation or added more to the foundation having fantastic returns. Shout out to them. Let's sit back. Let's let loose here and see who the spark winner is. It's going to be today. It's 
Folks, we have today's lucky Spark Prize winner. Their wallet ends in 2B19, and they are a first time winner taking in 659.79 ARC. They are a first time winner, and our MVP for the day, their wallet ends in B A, sorry, B4 AF. They've won six, sorry, 73.31 ARC. Congratulations to both. And folks, we're not going to have the DeFi sessions. Let me look around here in the room. Just confirm that our DeFi expert, Mr. Z, yeah, he's not here. As I explained before, he most likely would not be in. He'll be back tomorrow in full force. A lot of information happening, a lot of positive news in the crypto arena. We want to thank everybody for coming today. Hump day. Wednesday, June 28th to the ARC podcast. For the folks that are listening, we also want to thank you for your participation, especially if you're over on YouTube. Do make sure to subscribe, hit the likes. You have the chapters there that Mistletoe is putting for you every single day, few minutes after the podcast. You're going to see the chapters there. You're going to be able to see the Spark Prize. You're going to be able to find uh, the updates from Brett Nordeen. Everything's in a very easy to watch very efficient manner, very fast. Thank you all. We hope you take care of each other, be good to yourselves, and we'll see you all tomorrow.